partner Chris Singleton. I'm John Chomby. The first half of the All-Star break is behind us, and partner, it's go time in the second half. And if you want to be playing meaningful games at the end of September, you got to put your head down and grind for the next eight weeks. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. And on the mound now, Charlie Morton. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Kicks and deals. And a big swing and a miss. <laughs> Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when the two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And at the plate for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. One down, base is empty. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. And now the Braves with their first chance to hit. We're scoreless. You're dialed into the show. Back at Truist Park, and today's starter, Kyle Tyler. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club, and coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200, 200 on right. the year. It seems the right they have field. a hard time Adam. picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. This one popped up. Bell settles under this one, and there's one down. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. Singing the numbers tell us this is an offense designed to swing it. They're not going to force a ton of action on the bases. And so obviously that is one of the focal points that we'll look at. And you look at the quality of the at-bats because of the fact that the legs aren't a part of this game. They have to be very selective. Look for long pitch counts, grinding out at-bats, and really barrels to the baseball because it's a lot easier to jog around the bases than for these players to sprint. One out, base is empty. Good plate four, appearance four. there. Able to take the walk. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to that before the game. We've seen that him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And at first with one gone. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Good eye right there. Leads off first with one away. And a swing and a miss. Two gone. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow down. Two strikes you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. 
Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip the cap. Here's Matt Olson. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike One two. Ball. Two strikes. In the dirt. To second, but way too late. Safe there. And now a man into scoring position. Three. Swings and misses. Struck him out. One left for Atlanta. Scoreless after one. Set for the start of the inning. And now Jake Berger. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. The wind of the pitch. Gets him to chase after that one. Well, oh, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Wouldn't oh, chase that there. time. Umpire behind the plate for us today, Boog, is Mike Fillmore, and he is a good one. He'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit, but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing. Once he established that a pitch is a strike, it stays that way. And another ball. Yeah, Fillmore, kind of, I don't know, you'd say maybe an umpire's umpire, but really consistent, very fair. Yeah. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Now, here is Jesus Sanchez. One down, base is empty. That one misses. Three balls, two strikes. On its way to the corner. And that will drop the foul. No score here in the second. Hard hit, right side. Throw on to Olsen. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. Otto Lopez, the next up for the Marlins. Two outs, bases empty. Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. Man, that two was strike. pretty gross right there. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Marlin oh. set down in order. So they make short work of him there. We go to the bottom of inning number two. No score. Back here in Atlanta. Go, and now, go, Travis Dardo. The catcher. Travis Dardo. Righty delivers. Edge of the zone, call the strike. Gonna count one and two. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Stays alive. The line of the pitch. And another ball. The 
you too. And that one is lifted in the air on the move to the gap. He's got it. One up, one down. That is good. Here's Ramon Laureano. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. One ball. A one two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. The pitch. And that's outside. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two away. Plenty of extra carry on that ball to right right there. That Almost got out of here thanks to the wind. It's whipping right now. And next for Atlanta, Alvarez. Ignacio Alvarez. The 1-1. One -one. Fought off foul. Two down, nobody on. Chopped out in front of the plate. On to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Braves are set down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. Here's the second baseman, Jonah Bride. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. To first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. Here's the center fielder, Nick Gordon. back there banks off the wall and that's a double couldn't have timed it up any better than that that's just that. missed out on a home the run right there but he certainly hit it hard enough just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall but still an excellent swing of the bat runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game And it's second with one away. Now it's the Marlins catcher. Up the middle. And that's an out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. So the batting order turns over. And up next for Miami, Xavier Edwards. Two outs. Yeah. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by one a ball. ton. Two, Out to short. Arcia whips it to first. That's the third out. One left for Miami. Still no score. And welcome back to the Lady ballpark the as we go to the That's last of the third. Or the batter Orlando. will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Arcia. Swing and a miss. One and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Missed with a changeup. Two and two. And here it comes. Three and chase that time. Swing and a miss. Handcuffed him with that slider. One away. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what. Pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Luke Williams. Next up for the Braves. Right side. And that chance handled. Gets it to first. And that quickly. Two away. The right fielder. Number 14. Adam. 
Duval. Adam Duval at the plate. The pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Still tied at zero. Last to the third. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. And that keeps the inning going. Here's Austin Riley. The third baseman. Go Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. The 2 1. And another ball. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. And he deals. Hey. On the inside corner for a strike. Helpful. Duvall off the first with two away. Fights it off. You'll see another. Duvall around third. He will score, and the Braves take the lead. One nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. So two down. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Man at second. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One ball, two strikes. Man on second, two down. Three. And he chases that one. Inning over, and it could have been worse. One run, a pair of hits, no errors, and one left on. Three innings complete. It's the Braves one and the Marlins nothing. And we're back as we go to the top of the fourth. And here is Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz. The why to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. And the righty deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. strikes and that's the first out. They had him out in front which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this known for using the entire field. Just yeah. couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Josh Bell at the plate now. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. This puts him away, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Got him. And there are two outs. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. And they'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Whoa. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Riley makes the play, and it's out number three. No runs, no hits, no errors. On now to the bottom of the fourth. It's the Braves one and the Marlins nothing.
back at Truist Park, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Matt Olson. And that's strike two. One Maybe ball. a surprise two here as the bullpen is already stirring. JT Shagwa preparing to come on if needed. Left hand hitter waits. And ball. another ball. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. I Just misses three. without one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. It misses. It's a strikeout. Now got it. And now it's Travis Darno with the plate. Darno. The pitch. Not close with that one, and it's two and one. Hard hit left side. Tosses across the first. Already two gone here in the home field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fastball moved right down good. the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Loriano comes up to hit. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Outside. Two and one. Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. And a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel Please. for his breaking ball today. Inside ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Check on the runner, no, Loriano. Back in on a dive. Righty to the plate. Still two and two after the foul ball. Loriano, the runner at first with two gone. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Braves one and the Marlins nothing. Back here in Atlanta. Doesn't matter now. Jesus Sanchez. Here's a 1-1. Check swing, he went too far, and it's a strike. And another ball. Comes a 2-2. Starting to go after it. Now we'll look down to third. Nope, he held back. The pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. That one lined softly the other way. It'll fall into left field for a base hit. He forced a lot of pitches to be thrown and ends up collecting a hit. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's 
really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. And now for the Marlins, Otto Lopez. Morton to throw over. Dives oh, back out. Oh. Man, you're feeling so good. You just got the knock. You're on base, and then right away you get picked off. That's just a tough one to swallow, especially after leading off an inning with a single. And a pitch. And that's outside. And that's ball two. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. That's Next offering is downstairs. Oh, they have Three had ball. a hard time one scoring strike. in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And there's That's ball four. Ball. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now, now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Two balls and a strike. Slap the other way, foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. 2-2 two -two now. And that one lifted in the air center field. Right there is Loriano. He's got it. So digging in, Nick Gordon. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a pop up. Riley makes the grab. And that is that. Marlins leave one. They're down 1 0. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, J.T. Shagwa. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's Orlando Arcia. For the Braves, the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. And a 1-1. In the air, out towards right center. Sanchez gets under it. Drops into the glove. One down. Up next for Atlanta. No left field here. Now in for the Braves, Luke Williams. Williams. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Just missing there. And the count is even two and two. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches the right to field. even Number that 14. count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time Jewel. chased outside the zone. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. That front door slider is such two a strikes. devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Just a weak fly ball this time. Sanchez ranging after it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We're through five. It's the Braves one and the Marlins nothing.
And we're back. And here is number 47. Ali Sanchez. The pitch. And another ball. Two balls, one back. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Arcia. And that's Got one it. out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now back. Now back. The shortstop. Xavier. Edwards. Xavier Edwards. The next up for the Marlins. One down, base is empty. That's, that's down and in. Here's a 2 2. Come on and miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, usually you're going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. That's a well thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. Brian De La Cruz now at the plate. There's a swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Here comes a pitch. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right no, there. No, no, no. You connect no, no, no. and it jumps off your bat like that. You're thinking yeah. double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. And a pitch. Good yep, eye on that spot. Out. Two outs. And he hits a ground ball right side. Dives, but it's off his glove. Not He's in great. time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Just a good job putting the ball in play and then busted down the first baseline, beat the throw pretty easily. Chance now to even this game if they can put a ball in play, maybe an error, maybe a hit. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. Right-hander kicks, deals. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Runner from third, in the score. We're tied at one. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. That's all for Charlie Morton, and a line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Spencer Schwellenbach taking over on the mound. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding runs so far this season. So first and second with two outs. And at the play for Miami, Jesus Sanchez. The count two and one. Ball three. And another ball. Three balls, one strike. Go ahead run at second. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Jimmy Hergit getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Chavez also getting ready. Three 
straight through their cover. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the six. So now the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. Right-handed reliever. That one missed. You know, these Braves really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They really made that opposing starter work in this one. Ran his pitch count off, and now they've got an opportunity to continue making things difficult on the bullpen. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Marcelo Zuna next up for the Braves. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And a pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column, but with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Outside low, and the count's full. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just punched him up First on breaker. the inside part of the plate. Yeah. Could get around on it and catch it out oh, front. Yeah. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Here is okay. Matt Olson. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. Hit on the ground to the right side. Takes it himself, oh. and it's a 1-2-3 inning for the Braves. Braves go down quickly here. Score remains deadlocked at one. Top of inning number seven. Here's the left fielder, Otto Lopez. Otto Lopez. The 1-1. One, one. You know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. That was blasted to the moon. It's 2-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on the platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. So up next, Jonah Bride. Got him swinging. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Wow, just great bites that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Nick Gordon getting ready to hit. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a ball, ball evens the count. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't Three, chase that time. 
So now three and two. Got him looking. Now two away. Oh, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. Up the middle. Throw on to Olsen. And that is that. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back at Truist Park, here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Looking to get the tying run on base. On a line. And there's a hit. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team the needs you to come through. The it's just bigger than your own individual oh. stats. Just a solid oh, swing right oh. there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now the center fielder, Ramon Laureano. The 1-1. One, one. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seven. That one lifted to left. And that's a fair ball. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a blue hit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tie and run and start us over here in the late innings. And a sack bun here. Boots it. Back up the Oh, that got him. And everyone's safe. They're loaded. Well, he's just giving himself up to move two runners in the scoring position right there, but somehow the defense can't get it out anywhere, and this is quickly turning into a golden opportunity for this offense. Now it's the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. A strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something but you've got to make some pitches but if he can battle and get through this out there to center Gord under it makes the grab here comes the runner from third to the plate safe and we are tied well, right there he's definitely looking for more than just a sack guy with the bases loaded and nobody out but you'll take it now it's up to the guys coming up behind him to pick up the rest of those runners on base. And next for Atlanta, Luke Williams. That one misses, and that's ball three. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Declan Cronin, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Hoeing getting cranked up as well. Kicks and deals. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The right fielder, Adam Duvall, next up for the Braves. Duvall. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Bird. There's a ball. Good to lay off that pitch down.
And here it comes. Just missed. That's a really good take. In the air to left center. Squeezes it. Runner tanks from third. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 3 2. Well, oh, this is a big at bat right here. Nice sack fly to give his team the lead in these late innings. Declan Cronin on a pitch here. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Now in for the now Braves, Austin Riley. And that's downstairs and outside. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Comes up empty, that's strike two. <laughs> Way upstairs, and a full countdown. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two on, two outs. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Foul, we'll see another payoff pitch. A foul ball, he stays alive. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. A couple of runs in the inning puts him ahead. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Braves three and the Marlins two. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Pierce Johnson. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Back to the top of the Miami order. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Xavier Edwards. The next offering misses. Ball two. Activity in the bullpen. Rysel Iglesias getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. That oh, one misses. Three and one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Johnson fires. Base hit center field. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. No outs, runner at first. And now here's the Marlins DH, Brian De La Cruz. Ball to strike, the pitch. And another ball. At the belt and fires. Runner on the goal into center. Sizes this one up. And there's one away. Here's Josh Bell. And Chris, what about the stolen base to try and get the tying run into scoring position? It's definitely in play, and you want to see it early in this count. Pickoff move to first. Edwards back on a dive. He's got plus speed, but in this situation, all eyes are going to be over there trying to keep his lead tight. Here's Johnson fires. Then a count one and two.
Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Fouls it off, still one and two. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. That's out to center field. And it drops in. Throw comes into third. Oh, in there. Yeah. He's safe. But I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Runners at the corners here, one away. Jake Berger, the next up for the Marlins. On the ground a second, might be two. There's one. Double play as they get out of another jam, and the inning ends. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job, 4-6-3, inning ending double play. Here in Atlanta, bottom of the eighth, and now the DH, Marcelo Zuna. And the pitch. That misses, and it's two and one. Miami's bullpen with some action. A right hander is up and throwing. And he deals. Swing and a miss. It's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. And now two and two. Next offering this. misses down and away. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them all away. And at first, Matt Olson up to the plate. that one away and we'll do it again base hit that was smoked through the infield throw back in quickly first and second now with nobody out and here's the catcher Travis Dardo next pitch way upstairs Chase that time. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. And they're all nope. loaded up. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ball game, trying to now keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. So digging in, Ramon Laureano. Zuna on third, Olsen on second, Tardo on at first with nobody out. The next pitch misses for Kamba. At risk of walking in a big run here, and these fans really let them hear it as well. Now one out to right, Sanchez on the run. He can't hang on. Here comes the throw. Play. Three run game, it's 5 2. Oh, a huge two RBI 
swing of the bat right there. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. So the Marlins go with a new arm, Ryan Hull. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. So up next, Ignacio Alvarez. Righty delivers. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Three. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes no, down no, to no, no, not no, no. seeing the pitch no, out of the no, hand, no. not tracking it into the zone, and then also oh, being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. He was all left over over that one. Nice job with driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Base is loaded with one away. Now the left fielder, Luke Williams. And there's the strike. Bases loaded, one away. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. In the dirt, nice job behind the plate. The pitch. Routed to third, could be two. Throws to second for one, and that's two. So two runs, three hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. Through eight full, it's the Braves five and the Marlins two. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Rysel Iglesias. And he's been fantastic this year, really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff. It's tough to square up. The pinch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. One down, base is empty. That Ball one three. missed. Towards first. Olsen takes it himself. Now only one out remaining. Now it's the second baseman, Jonah Bride. 